So today I just wanted to do a quick check on some of my test equipment here, sort of a uh, reality check. I want to uh, get some idea what my personal confidence level might be in measuring power levels at VHF through microwave frequencies here at the test bench. Uh, so this is my uh, Agilent E8285A, uh, basically a communication test set, among other things it can function as a uh, signal generator, which is how I have it set up right now. It has uh, two outputs, uh, duplex out and uh, RF out. So I'll uh, check both of them here in this uh, video. I'm, and what I'm using is uh, an HP 432A uh, power meter, which can measure RF power levels between 1 microwatt and 10 milliwatts over the frequency range of 10 megahertz to 10 gigahertz. And a little bit of overrun on the high end, you know, if I'm at 10.368 gigahertz, I don't expect this meter to be off by, uh, by a huge amount, maybe a fraction of a dB out of calibration compared to it, its specified upper limit of 10 gigahertz, but I'm sure it's not that bad. So I want to see if these two uh, agree somewhere near. Neither has been calibrated in a number of years, so um, we'll see uh, how things go here. Uh, so, I have um, the signal generator turned up to a level of plus 2 dBm output, which is as high as it will go at 144 megahertz where I'm set right now. So I've set the uh, power meter for a maximum indication of uh, a full-scale reading of uh, plus 5 uh, dBm here on the uh, range selector. And so plus 5 dBm would be at the uh, zero reference, the full scale point on the uh, meter. So with the signal generator set uh, 3 dB below that at uh, plus 2 dBm, then I'm expecting a reading of uh, minus 3 uh, here on the, uh, on the power meter. So let's just see. I need to reach over to the uh, test equipment, and pardon me if the camera moves because I'm looking. I'm not looking at the camera now. I'm looking over at the test equipment to enable its uh, output here. So there we go. We were expecting that to be minus three, and it's not that far off. It's uh, maybe 0 0.2, 0 0.22 or 0 0.23 dB off. It looks like so. I'm pretty happy with that. Let's see what happens if I change the level, and I'm looking over at the uh, test equipment here again, so bear with me. So I'll go to minus 1 dBm, dropped about a dB, another dB, another dB, I'm changing it in 1 dB steps here, so it's tracking pretty well. So I'm fairly happy. Uh, at least uh, with this this output on the signal generator and this frequency range that uh, that I have some confidence in my ability to measure RF power levels you know it looks like a quarter of a DB out or, or less so I'll say I'm probably within a DB I, I feel like I can I can measure power within a DB or so at at this frequency I could be wrong they could be both off by the same amount in the same direction but um, but I feel fairly good about this. I have checked some other frequency ranges and other power ranges on the meter and they're all tracking just about the same with this uh, slight um, slight difference of uh, 0.2 to 0.3 dB or so depending on the uh, scale and the uh, and the frequency. So one thing I will do is reconfigure to go over uh, from duplex out to RF out and make another video segment just to see if there's a, a major difference uh, using the other output uh, on the signal generator. Okay, so now I have the power meter connected to the RF out on the uh, signal generator. And I have had to uh, change the scale a little bit. On RF out, the signal generator can't produce as much RF as it can on duplex out, so I've changed this to uh, to the minus 10 dBm scale, so 0 dB at the right hand side is uh, minus 10 dBm. So everything's relative to that point. I have the uh, signal generator currently set for minus 15 uh, dBm, and I'll just uh, enable the output here. So we're expecting that to be minus 5 on the power meter, and as you can see, it's, uh, it's pretty close. So I'll just reach over here. Uh, 
I can't see what I'm doing with the camera when I'm looking at the uh, test equipment or uh, the uh, signal generator over here on the other side, so bear with me. I'll just change this level, uh, go up a little bit. There's so uh, minus 14, minus 13, minus 12. So it's tracking pretty well here too. There's uh, if I go all the way down to minus 20, which should be minus 10 on the meter, still looks pretty good. So at the end of the day, and I have checked other power ranges and other frequencies as well, I'm pretty convinced that um, that I can determine power levels within, let's say, a dB or so. Uh, it is possible that both the signal generator and the power meter are, are grossly inaccurate and they're off by the same amount in the same direction. Uh, it's, it's possible. It would be quite a coincidence, I guess, but... Uh, but I, I feel pretty good about this. I think I can, uh, you know, for amateur radio purposes, I think I can trust my measurements uh, reasonably well and have some confidence that I've got uh, a clue where I am with things.